Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Box. I'm delighted to be joined with Johnny Clark. Um, um well he, he's, he's <laughs> next, his next show is on the 17th of June, uh Brentwood Centre. Um he's got a packed card, but first we're gonna talk about his show that was on this it was on the 17th of March. Um right. what fight should we should we talk about um the what about Ray Bear v uh, James Osborne? That was a scrap. Oh, you say that one first, mate. Yeah, that was probably uh, that was fight of the night, in my opinion. Um, as you know, you were part of the story of that, weren't you? Because uh, Ray pulled out for injury, and then we see that he was training, and I was literally going to pull James off the card, and uh, I thought one last try after we had that chat, and I messaged Al, and uh, yeah, he said, you know what? He had a little spa, but the injury popped up again. But I've asked him and he said he wants to fight. And on the night, I thought he looked quite fresh. <laughs> and uh, probably a bit out of breath, like me on this walk. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd say fair place of getting in. You probably weren't that well prepared in my I mean, eyes. What a four-round fight that was. Yeah, everyone said the best four rounds I've ever seen. Yeah, and that's credit was. to them both. You know I mean, I mean I think that's you, what... what's your thoughts like on that the knockdown, the first one? Because Ray didn't uh, seem happy. Yeah, yeah. It was more, he felt like he was pushed down a bit. But I think it was a bit of both. Yeah, you know I mean? But at the end of the day, the fight ended out. It was meant to end, wasn't it? So. Yeah, it was a good, good call from uh, Alec, I thought. Yeah, yeah. And then you but also... The, um, I, I like him. Yeah, you know I mean? Like, I liked his uh, mentality. And uh, he could be on the next show in September. So, mm -hmm. in a good fight. Uh, who Ray or James? Yeah, Ray. James is on it already. So what the one in September? Yeah, September the second. Yeah, there and was I, a. I wanted James Ozzy Osborne on this one, but he's on a Peacock show uh, four weeks before, and uh, he was in a fifty-fifty on my one, and I didn't want to risk it. If I risked it and he got an injury, then or a cut, it would have been a lot of money and promotion, yeah. promo videos, artwork. Maybe you could do that 50-50 in September if everything goes to plan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Ozzy, uh, he's got an opponent locked in for it already. They just wanted a couple more fights before they had it. It's an oh, opponent that comes through uh, the unlicensed scene as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, when, when I, me and Lee uh, met when we were younger, Lee had a white collar show called uh, EBA, and they both used to fight on that. And now they're both pros and both the same weight. So, yeah. What about uh, Grant Dennis? He he, because he kicked off the show. Yeah, he had a good fight. I thought it wasn't as easy as <laughs> he probably thought it was going to be either. Um, and then he's now got a good fight off the back of that, isn't he? He's on the undercard of Taylor. So yeah, so so that's a good name to get on your show, wasn't it, Grant? Yeah, yeah. Very and good. and um, Danny. Yep, Danny Dignam with a KO on his comeback. That was yeah. very hard to match him, though. It was a lot of stress involved with Danny because where he was good, people wanted a lot of money. Too much money. Well, um, well you found an opponent which was good. Yeah, credit to Lee Eaton for that one. I didn't stop. <laughs> Neither did he. Yeah. So, yeah. Big, what about uh, the prize fight? Because you had, first of all, you had Kevin v. Uh, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> on that fight, I thought... Um, a lot of people said Kevin underperformed, but I said, in my opinion, why don't you give credit to Ryan? Because I honestly think that Ryan did perform well in both his fights. And he, he made people, he's awkward, and he made people look shit, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. I, I yeah. Upset you saw with what Kev, happened when he fought Angelo. Yeah, and you see what happened when Angelo fought Pav. So yeah. you see the level Angelo is at that day. You know, and then you see <laughs> what he's done to her. You know, he got dropped himself, though, I think, Ryan. His back went on the ropes and he sat down. Mm. So I should have uh, a can, but yeah, there you go. It is what it is, though. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. that, that was... That, I thought it brought more excitement to the show as there was, like, a tournament. Yeah, it did. And to be fair, I did want one this, this for this show, but... <laughs> I thought people would want to be on it more as well because the tournament, the money, you know, everyone got paid the first, uh, the winner and runner-up got paid the biggest purse they've ever got. But no, they, they uh, 
they're, they're quite scared of losing their O's, um, some boxers, you know. Well, you've got loads of 50-50s on this show anyway. Yeah, yeah. I was going to change the weight of the tournament, but then some boxers, they want six and eight rounds because they start slow. So I couldn't yeah. really get boxers that agreed to come on the show to fight in the tournament. So, mm-hmm. like, but this one, I did want to prove to myself as well that I can pack out an arena and keep it packed out. Oh, we was packed the whole well. night. Yeah, that's what I mean. We uh, we done very well there, very well. It so, was, yeah. <clears throat> so moving on to um uh, the seventeenth of June, we've got yeah. um. Well, well, we'll run through the cards. So you've got Gerald Patterson via Mamadov. You've got Mamadov back because he, he gives, he's durable, isn't he? Very durable. Yeah, and that was Gerald's first opponent uh, that ended in a draw because of Clash of Heads. Oh, yes, so it did. Let's get that sorted on the show. And, um, Charge, want the keys? Let's get that sorted on the show. And um, he can turn the draw into a W, hopefully. But Mamadoff is not a bad boxer, is he? So I do yeah. think that... And I'm sure uh, he'll fancy his chances. Yeah, and no, I think he's going to be a bit upset about the Clash of Reds as well. So I think he's 100% coming to win. Yeah, that, that'd so. be a good tear-up. How many rounds is it? Four? Yeah, it's four. I'm still setting them five next time. No, I think it's his third because he fought someone else. Yeah, it'd be bad, uh, he had a win at your call, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I'm in there. <laughs> yes. Um, so that that's good. And then you've got um Harvey Horn on, haven't you? Yep. Well, this is Brad Castro, I believe. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, good to have him back on the show. I went uh, I went to his gym the other day. Lovable fella, lovable gym as well. Uh, good personalities in there. That's what I like. Uh, gym, see how they're getting on. Because although I'm small hall, I'm I'm putting, you know, the sponsors are putting money in, I'm putting money in, and you want to make sure that everyone's on the ball, you know. So visiting yeah. the gym to get to feel them, feel their camp, they they like it as well. You know what I mean? They said no one normally does this. And you make them feel a little bit special. And when I went there, like, obviously I build uh, relationships as well. So it was good to see him in his training environment. And he's a character, mate. He's a real good character. So that's oh, good yeah. to have him on the show. I was talking uh, to uh, Rod the other day, and um, yeah. he said it didn't feel like a small hall show. He said he was very no. impressed with uh, how you mm-hmm. set it up and stuff. Yeah. yeah he was it's, in a good fight, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah, he was. He was. And uh, he got a good win. I think he broke the uh, Thomas's draw, so very good win. Um, Do you think they would rematch on your show? Or if I'm being honest, there isn't much room for it. <laughs> you know, like the um, they're both not ticket sellers, yeah. So I have to look at it like a business. There, they yeah. both don't sell a large amount of tickets. Rod's really an away fighter, um, but he always comes for a fight, Rod. Yeah, yeah. I, I would have him on my show, one hundred percent. Um, and I think I've got a fight lined up for him. Who, but, Rod or Tommy? Uh, Rod, yeah. Rod as an away fighter. But, yeah, no, there's no point to him and Tommy, in my opinion. So <laughs> I think uh, Tommy does need to build up and he should rematch <clears throat> Rod. Down the um, line. Yeah, maybe yeah, do it on a Peacock show where you only got to sell uh, like 25 tickets, uh, cheap tickets as well, yeah. which is a brilliant idea for boxers. But on the type of a night I'm putting on, Need a little bit more commitment on ticket sales. Oh, uh, fair enough. So mm. you've got, uh, you've also got. Um, wait, so Harvey Horn is that like, like a comeback sort of fight before he looks for like a British title? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just getting back back into the swing of things. Ring rust, but he don't look rusty to me, mate. <laughs> he looks mm. great. Yeah, so just just getting back in, and then hopefully September you'll see him and his brother on the same show for the first time ever. Oh, that'd be good because Louis be got a good knockout win in yeah, the last very fight. Good. Yeah, very good, very good. And that's what I mean when I went to the to the gym to meet them. They were both in there. We were both speaking. But where my show is September, they probably get a chance to be on a show before that. Um, so but weird. if not, then I'd like them to have their first show together on my show. Yeah. So you've also got uh, Joe Giles. He's 
Is he three win? No, he's four and one now, I think. Yeah, I believe so, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's got good ticket seller. Edgar. Yeah, Victor Edgar. He's a good ticket seller as well, Joe. Good lad from Essex. Like, I've met him quite a few times at shows. I've seen him box at shows. They, they yeah. bring out all their flags and, and whatnot. You know what I mean? So yeah, he, he brings the crowd with him, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. And then I was watching a matchroom show on his own the other day. And Sammy Lee beat his opponent who stopped Joe. Yeah. And they was even speaking about Joe and a uh, likeable chap, good ticket seller. I mean, that's only had four or five fights to be spoke about on commentary. It's not bad, is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was nice to hear his name and we're going to build him up. And ideally, I think after this fight, he said it on the interview on my channel, um, 50-50s. I think he's, he's get this little bit of confidence up and then he'll be ready for that. Yeah. And once he, the tickets he sells will even go up even more then, you know, because they know he's in the scrap now. He, he, he's, he, he sells crazy amount of tickets even. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like I like the way they support, you know, when they bring the flags out. It's like a football style. Um and I like that. Yeah. You know, as you can see. <laughs> and then uh who you've got Tyrone King on as well. Yep, yeah, he's got Richard Helm. Um good, and, he's uh, a tough fella. Yeah, and it's a yeah, a similar story to Joe now. I think would this make him six and oh if he wins this? I believe um, it will be or I five think, and oh. I think he'll go seven and oh, I think, Tyrone. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think it's that much. I, th I think it's five. Uh, I think oh, it's five. yeah. Something. Yeah. Six or five, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if he comes through this, then he's got to look really about stepping up as well. So, obviously, these journeyman fights, they'll, they'll be at the start of the card. Lots of no fights how... on your cards. Um, they're all, like, all good fighters and all, all in good yeah. fights. And I think that, that I've said it many times, that if you're going to fight a journeyman on my show, one, you're going to be on near the start. But if you are fighting a journeyman, they're not going to be the ones that lay down. You know, I want ones that this is the journeyman before you go 50-50. And yeah, that way... Yeah, that's what Helm is, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. And that, that will be what will make them better, make them feel better when they celebrate. They know they're celebrating because they beat a live-ish opponent. You know, it's not 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. But even if it's a 70-30 that you'll lose if you're not on your A game, they're the type of fights that... I'm screaming out for so, and we're getting them. We get, also we've also got, got um, <laughs> Angelo Antonio v Kevin Revel. That's a great fight over six rounds, and it was easy to make because they've both been on the show. Uh, Angelo's still happy because he knocked out Pav, so he's happy. He, the loss he don't even register in his head. He don't, he don't even register, um, and Kevin's disappointed. So. At the end of the day, it's the Ryan Maycock final, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's the Ryan Maycock beat them both. But um, they're, yeah, they're, they're, their aim is to leave their last fight as a W. Because they both so. said in like the the, the face off on your um, channel that yeah. I saw, um, that they're both saying that they're going to stand in the middle and trade. Well, let's see who does it. Let's see who actually does it. Um, if they do, it'll be a great fight. I'm excited to see that one. That be that was that's going to be a tear up. Yeah, because I think um, I think Kevin's, Kevin's a more boxer. of a, a better boxer, and then yeah. I think Angelo carries more of the power. But who knows? Yeah. Exactly that, mate. Exactly that. So if they do stand in, that's the why people want to come to your yeah. shows because we just don't know what the result's going to be. Exactly that, you know. And I'm glad that people want to do that. That that was part of the plan. Why would people want to come on my show? and put their record on the line. One, it has to be the best show they've been I on. I mean, yeah, Kevin's coming off mm -hmm. a defeat, and so's Angelo. Angelo's yeah. two and two, but he just doesn't duck anyone. And same with yeah. Kevin, and same with um, yeah. most of the fighters on your show. Yeah, and that, that's that's the aim. And they've come on board and believed in the brand. And like I was just saying, like you have to have a reason why you're going to come on and put that on the line. You have to give them the best night that they've been involved in. So the production, the filming, the photos, it all leads up to it. As soon as I take a photo of them, in my case, can you send me that? <laughs> you know, as soon as I get a video, oh, can you tag me in that? Can we upload that? Like, yeah, no worries. It's all part of it. But they need their memories. So they come on, they have one of the best shows they've been on, the best fight they've been involved in, and they get their memories. Win, lose, or draw, they're quite happy to come back and do it again. Yeah. But ideally, if 
they lose this one. I can't see a way back from them on the show as it stands. Um, what out of Kevin and Angela? Yeah, yeah, because two losses on the show. What what is there in their form to do? Mm. There's not, is there? Like what now? We're looking at, you know, the winner of uh, was the winner fight? of that prize fighter was was that always going to be uh, fighting Jack Martin? Uh, yeah, yeah, but we couldn't officially say that. It was just a rumour. And when people ask me, you know what it's like. All you use lot, you like to get on your case, but I don't say nothing until it's it, yeah. it's written in front of me. So, regards to that, Lee said what a good thing would be if the winner fights for the Southern area. And the Southern area was the week before, weren't it? Jack Martin versus uh, that, Shaq. That was a great fight. Great, great fight. And then we said, well, all right then. And then at the end of it, when Ryan won, uh, IFL, a boxer, was standing there and they filmed him and and Lee said, listen, the winner, you can fight Jack Martin on the next show. And they shook hands and then at the end of it, we and see the happening. video. Yeah, and it's happening. Your I think show, that's great. Good. Yeah, it's, I think it's great, you know, and I'm buzzing that they got that opportunity. And he deserves it. He Who's won two main fights. event? Is it um, Jack or uh, Jordan? Well, if Jordan comes on with the English, it'll be joint main event, wouldn't he? So, yeah. Yeah, but he will. It will probably be last fight. Would be Jordan, wouldn't it? So, but that's at the moment. Can you not say it, the opponent, or is that getting just com- that, in the yeah, That's getting all confirmed, and once that's confirmed, then it will be whether it's for a title or not. So, yeah. at the moment, it's just Jordan Perkis, my old next door neighbour. He's on the show. So yeah, but he's always in a good fight. He beat Mahmood and Walker. Yeah, mate. The Brilliant southern fight. area. Then he went straight to the English. Yeah, I wish this one was for the British, but it's not. <laughs> but that's always there because he's got um, Sean McGoldrick, who's obviously Lee Eaton's fighter. At I'm sure that will get made later this year, though. Yeah, hopefully September. You know what I mean, but that's a TV fight, isn't it? That's not a small hall fight, so mm. we'll see. Yeah, well, who else have you got? You've got Hardly uh, Jell on it. Yeah, Hadley. Hadley Jalil. He's yeah, he's fighting Grati at the moment, but that may change. Um, but yeah, this he's had two fights in America, two knockouts. But he's from England, but I think his missus lives in America and he's got residence over there. Um, and he wants to build Grati his career. Grati was um on your show last time as well. Yeah, nice and easy to work with. Good journeyman comes not to lay over, gives you a little test. Um, and I think Hadley, if you've seen all the comments and who's writing on his. Like posts and that, it's unbelievable. Oh, we'll bring the crowd with him as well. Yeah, he's got like a Johnny Fisher feel about him. Like the he sells a ticket, meets you, gives you a t-shirt. See stuff like that. I love it. I was sat next to Jordan, as you know, the weekend. I said, look at all them boys in the t-shirts. I said they probably cost a pound and then fifty p to print it. I said you could even print it on there. Yeah, you know I mean that's not hard work, but it just looks the bollocks. And if you go and meet them, have a photo of them, he does it right. He's marketing well because yeah. It, it's everything. Your ticket sales at this stage of your career is everything. Until you're on 50 50s, um, the ticket sales are everything in, in my show, anyway. So, yeah. And then yeah, you've got no, um, Thomas via Lorenzo over eight yep. rounds. Yeah, that would be a very, very good fight. But I think personally, that's fight of the night. Um, when I met Lorenzo, lovely, lovely chap. Um, Thomas, exactly the same. Thomas starts strong. Lorenzo don't. Lorenzo finishes strong. Thomas don't. So it's uh it's literally I the mean, meaning. Thomas is um, two and oh, and then Lorenzo's five and one, and it's very does early, it and they're right? fighting in eight rounds. And then Thomas was yeah. saying, if he does uh, beat Lorenzo, which I do think he will, then he wants uh, the winner yeah. of Jack v Ryan. Well, he's co-main and that's main event, isn't it? So it would make sense. Um. Because they both so, do decent with the tickets as well. Yeah, yeah. And for me, when, when it's a 50-50, it doesn't really matter about ticket sales because the business side of it is, so if they're fighting a journeyman, they've got to sell enough tickets to pay the journeyman, enough tickets to fly him over, enough tickets to put him in a hotel, and enough tickets to give him spending money. And then you would normally pay house fees, but I don't charge them, yeah, because I want the boxers to earn money. And then you split the ticket sales. So if you're fighting a live opponent who's also selling tickets, you so just like, get a uh, Thomas v Lorenzo. Mm-hmm. 
then they won't have yeah. to sell as much, but they'll probably no. sell more anyway. Yeah, they, they, they'll probably sell more. That's the thing because people know that actually in a fight, they'll come in and they'll come and want to see it. Whereas yeah. when they're fighting the tournament, you kind of know that he's going to win, but and so you don't really get behind him either. So if you notice the crowd at my show was electric, and that's because they knew that there was fights going on in front of them. Whereas when it's a journeyman, you're just supporting, you're shouting their name, you might get a football chant from, yeah, but they're not actually behind them. And when it was my show, they was behind them because they needed to support and build them up. And it definitely showed, didn't it? So. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, uh, well, the main event at the minute, you've got uh, Jack Martin via Ryan. Uh, yeah. What, what's your views on that one? Who do you think is going to win? Well, I, I don't really want to say because I like them both, but it, it'll, yeah. be a, it'll be a good fight, I reckon. Come down to fitness, I think. Because um, Jack's done right. 10 rounds before. Yeah, um, no, that's... He, he, oh, that's he, he's been in the trenches before, but Ryan's always... He's coming off two, well, good wins uh, on your show. And, and and it would have been a knockout if it was five more seconds left in the round of Angelo. Yeah. yeah. So he's powerful. Um, and so is Jack. Jack can hit as well. Yeah, no, listen, I didn't realise how powerful he was. And this is why I like going to the boxers' gyms. I watched him on the pads and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> he, listen, I thought that when I watched Ryan, but Ryan was very big when I first met him and he had to lose a lot of weight. But Jack's on weight now nearly and fit as anything. So when we're filming the promo videos, what, what they do is they give it 100% in his videos and then when the camera stops, they stop training, yeah? yeah. Not Jack. Jack carried on. They're doing tire flips, Jack, because how many have I done? Like, let me finish this and he carried on. And I was like, what? You know? And I was like, okay. Okay, I see. And he is switched on already. That's going to be a great fight, that one. Great fight. And I think, it, like, listen, Ryan... He trains like a maniac. Most of, well. most of these fights, you could argue um, out of any of them, they mm -hmm. could be a show stealer. So could yeah. Brian, Angelo or Lorenzo V. Yeah. Thomas. There's, yeah. Or maybe Kevin, Jordan yeah. could as well. You just yeah, Jordan, Listen, the level Jordan's at is going to be a good fight, isn't it? So, yeah, listen, I can't wait. And there's one more fight to announce as well. And I'm just waiting to see whether it's going to be... 50-50 or not. Is that, is that the one with Jordan or? No, there's another one. Be 12 fights. I don't know. There's Even lots, better, mate. mate. Even better. And that's like... What, what, what about um, Nathan the... Um, Nathan. What's he called? Yeah, so Nathan, Nathan's... Kamitsky uh, versus Slav. Yeah. Gegic. That's... Gegic has pulled out of an injury. Oh. Um, so we're working on a replacement for that. But if not, there's a journeyman locked in. So I said to Nathan, no matter what you're on my show, you show me commitment um, and we'll help you get on the show no matter what. Oh, so and Nathan's like, fighting on it, though, which is... 100%, good. yeah. So uh, I've got a connection with Newcastle. My mum supports them as a football team. So uh, I wanted them on my show because of that. And I want the brand up there as well, you know. And, uh, and Nathan's a good fighter as well. He's brilliant. I've been watching him. He's easy Maybe to work he with. could fight Slav when Slav's OK to fight. Yeah, I think he's quit boxing. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, his hand is, is smashed to pieces in sparring and he's just had a year off because of it. He said, wow. I can't fight. Yeah, I was gutted for him. I could genuinely feel his pain through the phone. So I'm a bit upset for him and obviously we put a lot of promos involved already for it, but wow. it's a, this stuff happens. So I can't I can't moan or bitch about it. I mean, there's it. always going to be... Because... The amount because you've got a, at least what 10 fights, 12 it will be. Well, after... 12. So yeah. every now and then you might get the odd injuries on the show, which yeah. it just happens. And that, that's another reason why I didn't really want the um tournament on it because before the last show, I had to sit down with the board and we was like, right, so if someone gets cut. So we put did the you have like board? a replacement if like no, someone got no. injured? No. So I was lucky. And uh, to have that on the next one, I don't. I, I said to him, I, I don't want someone sitting there not knowing if they're going to fight or not. I said, the amount of promos that I'm doing and whatnot, and then they just come on, and then they could beat someone, who, they'll be fresh. Then they beat someone in the final. I said, ah, not, not fair in my eyes. So I said, what, no. so if, like, uh, Angelo got, like, had an injury if he when he beat Carl? 
what yeah. would have happened? Like, would yeah, the fight just, not have just yeah. gone on? No, no, no. There would have been no final. So what I would have done is I would have give Ryan and Angelo money for winning the fight. Yeah, you know I mean, well, you would have just of... like split, split the. Yeah. Bro. Well, luckily yeah. that didn't happen. Which no, that's good. what I mean, and and it was a lot of luck. That's why I didn't do an eight-man tournament because I didn't want injuries yeah. leading up to it, and then someone gets a buy because like you have to have four fights, then two fights, then one fight for the final, and I thought it's too much. So take the risk away because yeah, even for, before for, though, uh, that tournament was exciting anyway. With yeah, the yeah, it done, it done the job. It got people talking about my show, and then now where I couldn't really risk having a tournament on this one, I thought let me prove that I can. Pack an arena, and, and you've and final. you've got loads of 50 50 fights on anyway, which is even yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, I might do a tournament in the future. Um, the original plan was this show to have four men and four women, like a tournament overlapping. So you have a oh, that would have been good. It would have been, um, it would have been great. you had a Nicola Bark and um, Maria, That's wasn't what, it? Yeah, Nicole, Nicola, I wanted Maria, Brookie, and and then one other boxer to be in a tournament, but. With a woman in we could uh Nina Hughes within five fights, you can be world champion. So to come on exactly. there and have two fights in one night, yeah, two wins, you could next fight could be for a world champion. <laughs> uh, but if you lose, you yeah, you know I mean, like you go right down the pecking order because so, Nina's fighting uh Shannon, isn't she? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's I, I, I reckon Nina's gonna win to be honest. So do I. I'm I put my I put my house on it. <laughs> I would really, yeah. yeah. I've heard uh, stories and uh, and I believe them. So yeah, it'll be. I reckon it'll be a good fight. Yeah, it'll be a good fight. Well, uh, Shannon, Nina uh, beat that Mitchell pretty easily when that sh Shannon struggled and she lost. I yeah, think. and they sparred a lot as well. Nina and Shannon a lot. So that's I'm going off them stories. The confidence from Nina. Obviously, I was with Nina when she won a world title in Dubai. And that was my best memory in boxing. Like even over all my shows, all the shows I've been involved in, what we went through that day out there, training, the lead up to it, sitting next to someone who's going into a world title fight, I was like, wow, this is this is crazy. And in Dubai, and then her winning the the, the belt. I think <laughs> sitting you, down. I think unanimous as well. Yeah. And then like what happened after is we just sat there, we just had the world title thing. <laughs> She said, let me FaceTime my kids. She was FaceTiming the kids off my phone and it was crazy. Crazy to think what we went out there and done. And there was no nerves. It was full of confidence. And then why she before we went out there, so I said, what's the plan next? And it was already set up with Matchroom if she won the free fight plan. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think like this one, she knows she's going to win. And then obviously the Bridges fight, I think should be after, I think. So that, yeah. that one was... A lot more difficult. Mm -hmm. but, I, I, and then obviously, Lee Eaton's also got the champion, Dina Thorsen, I think her name is. Is that right? Oh, Dina we, oh yeah. I think yeah, she so won then, again yesterday. No, that was another fighter. Yeah, a French one. But Dina's he, uh, from... He's got loads of um female fighters, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah that's it. And uh, this is Brooke Eaton. That's the one you want to watch out for. That's the one you want to watch Isn't out for. Isn't she maybe. meant to fight on the 17th? Yeah, she's just got license issues. She had to get a license passed, but it's close, very close. So, if she was meant to be on this one, yeah, and the last one, <laughs> but it's nearly bad there. luck for her as well. Which is on yeah, point. but it's also testing, and you have to listen. Nothing's easy, is it? And if you can remain strong-minded and get through a stage like this, then uh, you'll you'll get through anything. So, mm -hmm. good luck to her. And do you want to just have we not met anyone we haven't mentioned just before we go? Because I don't want to forget anyone. Just have a look. I've got it on my phone, mate. So it might go up for it for you there. Uh, 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 um, can you still see me? Can you? Can you yeah, find? I can still see you. Oh, cool. um, oh Ronnie Nichols. Oh Ronnie yes, Nichols. I'll Late, can get him. Yeah, we're just. Getting him an opponent, so I believe he just had his um, just had his debut. Then he got a win. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, now we're looking to build him. But they don't want to take it slow with him. They want to put him against, uh, like I said, a journeyman with uh, a good record that's coming to win. So good mm -hmm. test for him. Yeah. Very good. He's still young and learning, but they're happy to put him straight in. And so then obviously. After this well. show, have you got a September booked in? Yes, a September. In the same second. arena. Yeah, same arena. Yeah. And then December the 2nd as well. So you've got four shows. Um, no, so you've got this one in June, then you've got two in September. One in September, one in December. Oh, December, yeah. And they're yeah. all at the Brentwood Centre? Yep. That's it's like right. your home arena, isn't it, mate? Yeah, just, just for now. And then uh, top tier on tour will be next year. Oh, that's a big year next year. Yeah, and, and the same with this year. And uh, good luck yep. with the show, mate. And uh, thank you for the uh, media pass uh, last time. That's all right. You'll be on this one as well, won't you? Yeah, mate. I do. Thank you for your time, mate. That's all right, brother. Bye, mate. Bye.